Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Elementor tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do today is save and export a section here that we can reuse or add to another page or we can actually export it from the theme itself and import it into another theme. Which is a handy little feature if you spent time building a nice section and you want to use it on other pages. So let's get started. I've got a page here. Obviously we've got the Elementor plugin installed in our WordPress theme. Let's go ahead and click on Edit with Elementor. Once in the Edit section, let's roll down to the, ed the, the section we want to save. And just for convenience, I'm going to use this section right here today. And for this first example, I just want to save this and use it on another page. So what I'm going to do is right click, go down to save as template, and we'll give it a name. Call it services. Call it whatever you want. Just remember what you've called it. Save it. There it is. It's popped up right there. And as you can see, it's a section. So now let's just hit our preview changes icon, not that we've made any, and go to the page we want to put it on. I'm just going to go to the About page. And let's put it, I guess, between these two sections. So again, we've got to hit the Edit with Elementor button at the top here to bring up our builder. Now let's go down to where we want to put it, which was between these two sections here, I think, or wherever you want to put it. Go over to the little tab for the section, the blue ones for the section, the little dark ones are for the column and the row, and the little button with the pencil or pen icon there is the one to edit the actual module. But I want to put it between this sort of purple row and the gray row there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit plus for a new section. Then I can go to the little folder icon right here and add template. Because so what we've done, we've actually saved it as a template. Then go over to my templates, which is the ones I've saved. And there it is, there's our services one. We can go ahead and hit the insert button. Now you've got the option to import the document settings or not. I'm going to say no. It doesn't matter on this one because it's actually the same theme. But if you say yes, it could overwrite some of the previous styles that you've got going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. And there it is. We've got now got that section between the purple one and the gray one right there. Very easy to do and a handy little feature for Elementor. Okay, well let's take another example while I'm in here. I guess better hit the update button to save the changes. What if we actually want to take this section here and export it and put it into another website? I'm going to use the same exact website, but it's the same process. So what we want to do is go up to this section that you want to export, right click, and again, we will say save as template. And I'll just call it export. Again, save it. And there it is in our little library right here. And what we want to do is go over to the right hand side, three little buttons over here. Click on that and hit the export button right here. And there it is, it's dropped it down and it's exported it to our desktop right there. Okay, for argument's sake, I'm going to go to another page and we'll pretend that it's a new website with Elementor installed on it. Uh, I guess we'll go over to services. And let's say we want to put that section, doesn't really matter, somewhere around here. Again, we've got to hit the edit with Elementor. Go down to where we want to put this section. 
add new section. Hit our little file icon there. And on the top here, we've got import template button, a little circle with an arrow in it. Let's hit that. And you can drag and drop the file here, or you can browse to it with a little button there. I'm just going to drag it and drop it in there. There it is. We've got two versions of it now because I'd saved it as a template anyway. So there it is. It's in our little library here of my template. So we go ahead and insert it. Again, you've got that same warning. You can choose to either do it or not. I'm not going to. And there it is. We've just dropped that little section in there. So there you have it. Really handy little feature for a free plugin. Elementor is absolutely awesome for building your sites with. I'll just update this. Of course, there is a pro version also that adds some extra features, but the free version gives you plenty to be building sites with straight out of the box. Let's preview our changes, make sure everything's working okay. Yeah, there it is right there. So that's how to import just simple sections. using the Elementor import and export feature. Of course, you can import and export whole pages. Really easy to do as well. Same exact process. If you edit with Elementor, I'm going to take this whole page. If we go down here this time to the bottom here to the little arrow, save as template. I'm going to call it H page for home page. Save. And you can see it right there, H page. And it tells you what type of save it is. It's a page. So we've got it there. Let's simply navigate. Well, let's create a new page. I go to my dashboard, new page. Now I'll call this H2 for home two because it's going to be the same. And I'll just publish that. And you want to make sure it's the right type of page. So I'm going to X out of there. And we want to, same as the other one, which I think was element of full width. I'll just update that. I could have done that first. Now I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor. And again, hit the little file icon, my templates. There's our H page, page, insert. This time I'm going to go ahead and say yes, import document settings. And as you can see, it's loaded the whole page for us here. So if you've got a theme going on, a style, you want to reuse sort of pages and just edit the content in them very quick way of doing it just like that and the process for exporting it and using it on another site is exactly the same as we did earlier on just hit the export it'll put a file down here and you can import it into any other WordPress site that's using the Elementor let's update that and preview the changes to, just to make sure it's going to work and there you have it we've got a an exact clone of our front page there and you can just go in and edit the content to your heart's desire. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Like I say, Elementor is a fantastic free builder plugin. You get a lot of features for a free plugin. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.